Yeah, so you, no, actually, why don't you click? You can click when he's sitting and then throw it on the ground and get him started. Okay, click and then toss, right. Okay, now go closer to your ball. Okay, so you tell your helper when you're ready for the ball to go down. Okay, you're gonna have to hide your, kind of hide your hands behind your back. Okay, tell your helper when you want the ball. I wouldn't do any more sitting, there you go. Okay, and I would have rewarded the moving, right? So you might have clicked then, because he's stuck on sit mode. We've taught him to sit really nicely. Okay. This time maybe toss it closer to the ball. Pick up the ball, game's over for a second. Pick up the ball, game's over. He left us. What? All right, now reward him. Oh, you missed the chance to reward him because he moved forward. All right, this is this is going to be very difficult. Is there any way you could do that outside for a little bit? Yeah. Outside in the hall because, okay, click, there it is. Okay, put the ball down quick. Game starts. Now, there it is, he turned his head. Throw it a little bit closer to the ball, because then what happens, he gets distracted and comes away over here. Back to the game. Ball go. Oh, click. Click again, quick. All right. There you go. Watch for his. And you're, you've got your hands in your pockets, which is kind of distracting him. Hold the piece behind your back and hold your clicker behind your back. There you go. Okay, pick up the ball, he went away. He's doing very nice obedience, but it's the wrong game. Okay, call, call him back over, his name is Mac. Mac, call him over, now click, because he turned on his name. There you go, ball down, good job. He might be scared of the ball. Look at that, we've done a wonderful job of teaching him not to jump on people. All right, let's rethink this. Pick up the ball, let's rethink this game.